WWE 2K22 is coming out in March and we have the full hit list and we're going to give you the full breakdown of what's included in that list and what we're excited about. Let's get into all the details right now. Oh, it's an exciting week, isn't it, everybody? Welcome back to Assemble. I'm Matt. Great to have you here on the show. Let's talk 2K22. Let's talk about the big hit list that was revealed by 2K themselves this past week. If you guys go on to enjoy this episode all the way through and you say, you guys are bad, and enjoyed his shenanigans, enjoyed his antics, then you maybe subscribe and maybe hit the thumbs up. Now, let's get into it. Let's talk the hit list. WWE 2K22 is about looking and feeling like a true WWE superstar. From experiencing the roar of the crowd to delivering a punishing powerbomb, the fully redesigned gameplay engine brings all aspects of WWE action to life. When you step into the ring, the gameplay will seriously hit different with every dive, kick out, and finishing move feeling as if it's happening right in your living room. I hope so. I hope it does hit differently, 2K. We got a lot riding on this. 2K gave us the full bullet point hit list. It looks like this, and we have more details coming in January. With the hit list talking about redesigned gameplay engine, new controls, stunning graphics, immersive presentation, new WWE 2K showcase, my GM, my faction, my rise, universe mode, and creation suite. They're packing in a lot into this game. That's very exciting. We've had about two years of development, this is really good news that they are doing all these things like bringing back universe mode, giving us the my GM mode, my rise, which is the brand new revamped my career mode. And we are getting the my faction mode, which is going to be kind of similar to what they do in NBA 2K over there. In addition to the revamped gameplay engine, new controls have been implemented to ensure a seamless and intuitive experience for any skill level, while still allowing for highly skilled players to showcase unique moves. The redesigned gameplay engine is responsive and configured give you the limitless combos, counters, finishing moves right at your fingertips. So we will do a future episode talking about the revamp controls, the HUD, reversals, finishers, all of those little tiny details that we've uncovered. Stay tuned for that because we will have that for you in a future episode. My GM is making its debut in the 2K franchise. Take the reins as the general manager and draft your very own roster of WWE superstars, managing contracts and booking matches of all varieties to prove that you've got what it takes to build and run the best show in sports entertainment. My GM has a lot going on for it. There's a few things that I'm concerned about, which would be that we only have three matches that are being shown off for us to be able to do at any given time. We have the promos in there, which is great, but we will go a little bit further. We did an episode on the My GM mode, but we will go in a little bit further into My GM about some of the things we're excited for, some of the stuff that I'm a little concerned. Having a three match limit does have me a little bit concerned with the My GM, but there's a ton to be excited about for that mode. The My Faction mode is also making its 2K debut, introducing the new, the intimidating, the unstoppable, whatever you decide to make it, the My Faction. This is an all new game mode that allows players to get creative by building and taking control of a faction of their own. DX, New World Order, Corporation, or just a few of the iconic factions assembled through the years and now it's your turn to create the next legendary team. You collect, you manage, and upgrade the superstars and make your faction the greatest partnership in WWE history. We did cover the My Factions earlier this week. Go check that one out, but I think My Factions is going to be a great additional element, additional mode for players to jump into, to potentially collect cards, to be able to collect superstars and build up your faction of different superstars over the coming years. This does tie into the virtual currency that is going to be used within the My Factions mode. 2K has already discussed this though, and it is not going to be a play to win model. You don't have to use the virtual currency if you don't want to. So they are being careful with this, which is a great thing. My Rise mode is every WWE superstar has to start somewhere and climb the ranks before commanding the spotlight. That's exactly what to do in My Rise. Start from the bottom as a wide-eyed rookie, eager to make an impact in the ring, and make the right connections behind the scenes. String together wins to earn more notoriety and claim your place in history as a WWE superstar. Becoming the main attraction, live out your dreams as a hero in the eyes of fans all over the world, or play the role of the villain, thwarting the plans of anyone foolish enough to stand in your way. The all new storylines are available for both male and female my players looking to rise from rookie to legend. Great move by 2K, allowing us to have men and women in the my career, the my rise mode. We did this in 2K20. It's a great, great step. It's allowing more us to be able to have our female created superstars in there 
and build them up through the ranks. I'd love to see more of what they're going to do. It sounds like we're also going to get a lot of good cutscenes. Voiceover work, Drew McIntyre confirmed that he has done voiceover work for the game. That is presumably going to be utilized within things like promo promos and uh, My Rise mode, doing backstage segments and things like that. Universe mode and creation suite. There's a lot that goes on within you, the WWE Universe, and you can take in full control of the action in universe mode. Returning in WWE 2K22. Run the WWE however you want by pitting wrestlers against one another to form rivalries, decide pay-per-view matches, control brands more than ever before. Let loose in universe mode or the, in the creation suite where you can unleash your creativity by designing an all new identity which you can then showcase in the ring. Both modes offer free reign and allow you to experiment with new ideas. Really just telling us about how universe mode, we, I don't think we're gonna get much change. We get a nice new coat of paint for it. Hopefully that it doesn't glitch out. We've had issues in the past with universe mode where it loads very slowly. I've had multiple crashes in the past where you know, you're trying to upload maybe my AEW uh, actual universe in there, trying to get the arenas and things like that and it, it kind of bugs out and glitches. So hopefully we won't have any of those big issues when we go into universe mode. I do hope, and a lot of you in the community have mentioned this too, I do hope that we get the ability to add more rivalries in there. We have the limit right now, and I really hope that they can modify and increase the limit, or at the very least, change up the different types of matches that we can have for our rivalries. Instead of having a one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two, -two, maybe be able to expand it and offer us like triple threat rivalry or fatal four-way and have four superstars going at it for maybe the title. I always do enjoy universe mode. I hope that they do just, again, give it a fresh coat of paint, revitalize it a little bit, make it sleek, quick, easy to use, be able to jump in, create my whole universe that I want to with all my custom arenas, but I do want to see them actually do a little bit more when it comes to universe mode. So more news to come in January from 2K. I wanted to make sure we go through the hit list together that we have everything covered for everybody. We have more WWE 2K22 coverage for you coming at you almost every single day, it feels like. But thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, check out this one right here because we've got more coverage for 2K coming at you all the time. I'll see you on the next episode.